So today we're just going to quickly review the exclusive Fans Project Shield that you can purchase off the Fans Project website for 17 US dollars. Uh, this one is specifically for um, their Trionix Alpha, which is a very, very nifty and cool bot. Um, it's really solid. Um, made in the uh, likeness of the old Diaclone uh, toys. It's a fairly big figure and um, as you can see here with uh, a Hasbro um, Fall of Cybertron Starscream he's kind of between Voyager to um, leader class in size. Um, the shield that um, Fans Project have got on sale um, on their website it's basically more so for combining Trinix Alpha from his three split vehicle moods into one. If you've looked at uh, the other fans project Dai Z toy or action figure, which is made uh, with a similar mold as uh, Trinix Alpha, you find that um, that one combines uh, uh, all these three vehicles into one utilizing this shield. So Trinix Alpha doesn't really come uh, designed for uh, this shield to be um, affixed onto his lower arm. So you can see this, sh this shield is exactly the same thing that you will get with um, uh, Dai Z. So the rear of the shield has got um, different peg ports um, that's best suited for DIZ. So to adapt this, what they've given uh, as part of the the package with the shield, if you get it off the website from the Fans Project uh, toy store, is this adapter, which is quite tightly fitted now. I'm just gonna have to pry it out. Okay, there. So that's the only difference. Uh, aside from color as well. So what happens is, this one, you've got a bit of a plug here that goes right into that hole right there. And on the rear of the figure, this then um, plugs in here to allow for the shield to then plug in on Trinix Alpha's arm or through this port right here. So here's Trionix Alpha split into his three um, vehicle moods, right? Uh, we're going to combine him together with the shield. The shield, by the way, splits into three parts. Okay. And, um, yeah. So this will be useful when we combine him uh, into one vehicle. If you weren't aware, um, these are Solarons. They're basically very much like Power Masters uh, if you played with Transformers in the 80s. And uh, that's their core mood. And then it's, this is when they transform into an individual uh, robot. Right, for the combined vehicle mood, the bike vehicle that sits at the front of the com combined mood uh, can actually be firstly uh, uh, connected to the shield and become an enhanced vehicle. So what you need to do in preparation for combination or to enhance the bike mode is to um, shift the shield downwards this way and this way, okay, to bring you to this uh, position, okay. Then this bit will rotate up. These two gaps here will then latch on to the bike right over here. Okay, so I'm just going to latch that in now. Yeah. Okay, and there you go. Right, then you'll see that over here there is a gap, and this tab here, this then tabs in. Right over there, as well as on this other side, and you get a good fit. So there, you, there you go. Um, the bike mode has been kind of enhanced, and you can use the shield this way. It looks quite good, actually. Uh, like turbo 
thrusters on the back. Yeah. So this will then be the front of the combination vehicle mode, and these two uh, plugs here will then plug in on the vehicles at the back. So Alright, now to prepare the other vehicle for combination, what you need to do is you remove this gun, take it away, then simply push this bit down, shift the, the tank treads upwards, and that's all it takes. What you're going to be doing is then you're going to be, you see these two holes here? You want to be combining this, or connecting these, these two ports into those holes that are right there. Right, it will take a bit of effort. You may want to then firstly split the arms a little bit so that will allow you to get some uh, accessibility. But uh, the other bit to combination would be these points, these holes here, will be connected to this vehicle. So how you get that done? Firstly, take off the guns with that one, split it, push that bit down. Alright. You want to be splitting the legs up this way. Then the holes I showed you earlier, they will be combining with these three ports. This bit, you can slide it down, back in. Oh, it's a bit stiff. Okay, retract the tank treads right to the top. Same goes for here. Tank treads go to the top and push that back in. All right, and then focus on getting that, these three points connected to these three points over here as well. I'm just going to quickly do that offline. All right, the three ports have been combined over here now. Now there's a further two more ports over here. You're going to push into the two holes over here, and they will securely lock the back half in. Right, and there you have it the combined mode utilizing the um, exclusive shield. Um, you'll find that uh, I haven't really released the tank treads at the bottom here. I kind of treat this as a combined hovercraft. A hover tank mode instead of what was officially shown on the fans project website because if you see here if I were to do it as the official website uh, shows the tank treads are actually in reverse so it looks really silly because then nothing actually touches the ground so it's best to just keep it this way on the underside and um, yeah with the guns over here as well I think it looks kind of great Um, this shield is um, a great purchase. Um, you get to accessorize Trinix Alpha, uh, and, and as you can see over here, um, his shield can actually rotate quite a bit to give you uh, different angles of protection against the Decepticon forces that you've got here. Uh, we've got Trinix Alpha kicking some Decepticon Seeker butt, um, and you can see it's a really, really cool uh, accessory and um, well worth the money. Um, Fans Project was also very kind to provide me with um, the DIE-Z instruction sheet uh, when the shield was sent along to me, as well as the exclusive comic. Um, anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you found this uh, quick review useful. Uh, until next time, bye-bye.